My wife Jean and I are camping in Kushbequak National Park, New Brunswick. And one of the things we like to do when we're preparing our supper is to try and come up with a nice dessert. Usually we're going to use either the reflector oven next to the fire or we're going to use the Coleman oven on top of our gas stove. Tonight we'll be using the Coleman oven to prepare apple crisp. If you're interested in seeing how it's made, keep watching. All right, so Jean and I are putting it together and we thought we'd show you what we're doing. Let me give you an idea of what's going on down here. So Gina, what do we have in that mixture? This is a mixture of brown sugar, cinnamon, oatmeal, and a little bit of flour. Okay, and of course I am going to pull, put the full recipe in the show notes below. I should men mention that what Jean is adding in now is... Oil and a little bit of vanilla. So vegetable oil, olive oil, or what? Canola oil. Canola oil. Normally at home if we were doing this, we'd be using either butter or margarine cut into the mixture to kind of make a, a very rough pastry. But uh, we felt that this would be a little bit better. Oil is a little easier to keep out here when we're camping because of course we have no electricity and our refrigeration is an ice chest. So Gina's mixing it up. You're still looking for the same kind of a rough texture you would if you were cutting in uh, a pastry flour, is that right? Sure, crumbly. Okay, and while Jane is, do that, is doing that, I'll focus down here on the apples. So we have a little baking dish that we'll be putting in the oven, and how many apples are in this baking dish? There are dish? four good-sized apples. So this is four good-sized apples that Gina just peeled and cut up, and these are Empire apples, I think you told me? Yes, but any good baking apple, Macintosh, Cravenstein, Cortland's are all good. Okay, so choose a good baking apple, something that'll give it some good texture. You don't want it to go to mush or be too firm when you're finished with it. So what happens now? You're just about got it mixed up and you'll be putting that on top of the apple on mixture. Top of the apples. Okay. Sometimes in the autumn when we pick fresh apples in Nova Scotia, it's the same time of the year that the cranberries are ready and we mix a little bit of a handful of fresh cranberries. Right, and yeah, that always gives it a nice uh, nice flavor. So fresh cranberries are not frozen or the dried well, you ones? You can use frozen. Oh, they could I be don't frozen. usually use the dried ones. Right, not the dried ones, but fresh or frozen cranberries mixed in to with the apples or into with this mixture? In with the apples. In with the apples, so you can put some in there as well. Some people like to add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cloves. Right, and we'll put what we, we're using in this recipe, as I mentioned, we'll put that in the show notes below. All right. Any magic secrets here to putting this together on top? Not really. <laughs> you kind of want to cover up the apples. Cover the apples kind of evenly, spread over the top, pat it down. Okay. And where does it go from here? Goes into the oven. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes right. or until the apples are soft but not squishy. Okay, so that's what we'll do next. I'll show you putting this in the oven. All right, so there's our prepared dessert ready to go in the oven. Here's our little Coleman oven and we have it up to temperature at 350, yeah, right on, 350 degrees. Great. Get that in there. And how long does that stay on now? Oh, 25, 30 minutes. 25, 30 minutes. And of course you want Uncovered. to... Uncovered. Uncovered. The whole time? The whole time because right. you want it to be nice and crispy. Right. Uncovered. You want it to be crispy. Okay, great. Okay, we'll bring it back when that's ready to come out of the oven. And we're also preparing a dinner on the side. Well, a main dinner, of course. It's a little bit different. And I'll provide a link in the video to that dinner. It's a happy yak meal that we're preparing a little differently than normally. And it's going to be the... Tarragon Chicken Daffinois. So as you can see, our apple crisp is ready. We'll talk a little bit about the apple crisp in a minute. We just finished a, actually a really nice meal of uh, one of the Happy Yak meals, the Tarragon Chicken Daffinois. We think we're pronouncing that correctly. And as I mentioned before, we'll provide a link uh, to the video that, uh, that I made this meal uh, separately. So we have our apple crisp. Now one of the things I wanted to say about the apple crisp, Gina reminded me was, that the recipe that we're using, we, we, we're using this recipe for a specific reason while we're camping. First off, we don't have to worry about taking butter or margarine with us that's going to melt in the heat because we've been in the mid to high 30s here most of the week. 
and that even in our ice chest that would have gotten too soft and gone oily. So we decided to go with a vegetable oil instead of, but of course I'll put the original recipe as well as the modifications in the show notes below if you want to try the original recipe at home. So that was the modification we did for camping, but there was another reason why we use this recipe. Not for us specifically, but uh, Gina's sister suffers quite a bit with a number of different food allergies, and so she can't have any milk products. So Gina's been experimenting making meals and desserts without any milk products, and there's a few other things that have to be avoided. And so this is a milk product free dessert. That, uh, so this is not the first time we've made this, and it's just a little different. And you also wanted me to tell people how we would normally have this at home. We'd add milk products to it. We, <laughs> for us, we would add either Cool Whip or whipped cream or ice cream, like a nice French vanilla ice cream or something on top of this, because it is a hot dessert, so something cold on top just seems to top it off nicely. Absolutely. All right, let's and you can it. also eat this cold. Right, and I've done that, haven't I? I've had it for In breakfast, the middle, of the middle of the night, and I've had it for breakfast as well. So it's, uh, right. it's quite good. All right, so let's... Uh, oh, you're just going to serve me first, all right? The apples look good. Oh, I think that's probably enough. Oh, that's made quite a bit. I made enough for at least two servings, didn't I? Yeah. I'm going to come up to you show this to you folks. Okay, very quickly, you can see the... Uh, mixture on top, the oatmeal brown sugar mixture on top where it had the oil and the, the spices in it. Then you can see the apples, good baking apples, so they held together but they're still very soft. All right, so obviously now is the taste test. Spices, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, that type of cinnamon, thing? Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. Cloves, yeah. Typical things. Apple pie spice. Yeah. Makes a great fall dessert. Of course, falls when the apples are ready here in Nova Scotia. Well, when we're in Nova Scotia, of course. And nice with the cranberries added right, to it. Right, the cranberries add a lot to it, don't they? All right. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. My preference is to have the one made with the margarine or, or shortening, or butter, I guess. It tends to hold it together a little bit more. It's a little richer. Yeah, it's a little richer flavor. Um, the other thing that happens, we used a, a, a Coleman oven, the box oven on top of our Coleman stove, and it works by convection, moving hot air around. Had we done this at home in our home oven, we would have had a top element, which would have browned the top and gave it a little bit of a crisper top. Still, it's, it's got crisp enough, though. Mmm. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. They are. Yeah. Okay, folks, we won't make you watch us eat this dessert because, yeah, it is every bit as good as it looks. But uh, we'll wrap this video up in a few minutes. So, apple crisp turned out to be the perfect way to end that meal that we had, which, of course, was the Happy Yak Tarragon Chicken Daffinois. And it actually was really, really, really tasty. It's always nice when you can produce something either while you're in the woods or when you're car camping that tastes every bit as good as something you can produce at home. I mentioned that I think I would, well, I do prefer, for me, I prefer it when it is made with butter or margarine to give it just that little bit of a richer, more fuller flavor than, than the vegetable oil did. Not to say that the vegetable oil didn't taste good. It's just that I prefer it with the margarine. But again, the reason why we use the oil is because we had no way to keep the butter or, butter or margarine from melting here. With the heat that we've had and the fact that we have just an ice chest, uh, we just didn't want to uh, take the risk of having the butter go runny and, and separate and maybe even make a mess <laughs> inside the cooler. So that's why we went with the oil. You know, this is one of those recipes that you can vary yourself. Experiment with it. It is a very easy recipe to do, very easy to put together, and it lends itself well to using any number of different fruits as a base. So we used apples, and local good cooking apples are always the best, but why not use pear or peaches or combine uh, different fruits together? As Gina mentioned, she likes to use the cranberries when they're in season, so either fresh or frozen cranberries inside of it. They give it a nice tartness to go along with the sweetness. So that's a nice combination. I understand people may call this Apple Brown Betty, so that's another name for this. We, and locally, we call it Apple Crisp. 
So you may know this is Apple Brown Betty. So what I would like to do is just throw this open to you. What would you do differently in this recipe or share the recipes that you have with variations on them with other people, well with me because I'd like to have them, but other people, other viewers may like to have those recipes as well. So this is something you can try, very easy to do. You know, I'm, I was going to do this next with the reflector oven next to the fire. I may do the yet someday when I'm by myself, do a small version next to the, the uh, fire with a reflector oven, but it was nice to have it here while we were car camping. Okay, that's all I wanted to say about the apple crisp uh, meal that we had tonight. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And until then, until the next time we talk, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.